Victor Wimbanyama is the clear-cut number one pick in the 2023 NBA Draft. He can be the greatest talent in draft history, but a lot of people forget that LeBron James was the original demigod when it came to being a draft prospect. So today we're taking LeBron James and Victor Wimbanyama and putting them in the same NBA Draft. We're going to try to end up seeing who would be the number one pick between these two, and most importantly, who would have the better career. Alright, so in this draft it looks like the Hornets are going to get the second pick, which means that the Toronto Raptors are going to get the number one pick. LeBron comes in with the ceiling of a Hall of Fame player in the play style of Doc. Dr. J, and Wimbenyama also comes in with the ceiling of Hall of Fame, but a play style of Dirk Nowitzki. Honestly, though, if either one of these players turn out to be like that, that would be a disappointment for their career. Okay, so first overall, it does look like LeBron is going to be headed to the Toronto Raptors, meaning that the Charlotte Hornets are going to select 7-4 Victor Wimbenyama. Both of these players' teams are in the Eastern Conference. It's funny that after years of torment, LeBron is in Toronto now, and I would say that LeBron probably has the better pieces on his team, but I think that Victor Wimbenyama's team has more potential with LaBella Ball. But in Victor Wimbenyama's first game, number two pick had 18 points and 6 rebounds on 6 for 11 from the field. But by no means is that a bad game, but in LeBron's first game, he had 30 points, 4 rebounds, 7 assists, and 5 steals. I doubt LeBron's gonna be able to keep up that pace. Ah, shoot. Rookie LeBron is already an all-star, and he's gonna easily win rookie of the year, having the best rookie year ever, averaging 36 and 7. But LeBron's off to a hot start, but Wimbenyama also made all-rookie first team as the second selection, and he had a super solid season. 21 points per game, 9 rebounds, and 2 assists, so this is gonna be a long simulation. Wimbenyama Hornets did make the play in. Okay, so it looks like they're pretty easily gonna win the first game, meaning they advance to play the two seed Boston Celtics. LeBron's team got the four seed and will be taking on the Indiana Pacers in the first round. Well, that was short lived for Wimbenyama and the Hornets. In the closeout game, game six, Wimbenyama only had 12 points on less than 50% from the field. It's all right though, he's young. Obviously, he's still gonna be developing. As for rookie LeBron and the Toronto Raptors, though, they would be in the conference finals against Boston. And up to this point, LeBron's averaging 26, 5, and 7 on 56% from the field in the playoffs. It'd be really crazy if they could actually win the title in his first season, but it does look like they are going to be eliminated by Boston. In the closeout game of that series, LeBron did all he could, 25, 5, and 12. But season number one is over, and our prospects are only getting better. Victor Wimbenyama is already up to an 89 overall in his second season. His shot tendency is at a 90, so he definitely has that superstar potential. His badges are already looking good. Even his defensive badges already has 10 of them. But LeBron, I mean, golly, man, chill. Dude's already up to a 94 overall. He already has multiple Hall of Fame badges. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens in year two. So far, LeBron has the rookie of the year, but neither one of them have an NBA championship finals MVP or regular season MVP. All right, so in year two, LeBron makes his second all-star team with Wimbenyama yet to make one. Yep, LeBron James in his second year is already winning MVPs, but Wimbenyama has the hell of a season himself as he wins most improved player, averaging 25 points and 10 rebounds. Looks like LeBron's gonna make all-NBA first team while Wimbenyama is gonna make all-NBA second team. LeBron's team would finish second in the end of the season power rankings, but Wimbenyama is slowly creeping up there. The Hornets finish at eighth. I think the thing that is so staggering about LeBron early on in his career is his efficiency. I mean, he's in his second year averaging 52% from the field and 42% from the three-point line already a 95 overall but again we can't let LeBron's success distract us from the fact that Wimbenyama is also carving out a Hall of Fame career both of our players would make the playoffs again but once again the Hornets got eliminated early and this season LeBron and Toronto would actually make it to the finals LeBron's been dominant averaging about the same numbers as he did in the regular season let's go ahead and simulate that and see if he can get his first title in this simulation the series is three to two now and LeBron has a chance to cement his status as an MVP finals MVP and MVP NBA champion in only his second year. Actually, looks like the Timberwolves are going to blow them out in this game. Yeah, they win by about 20. And apparently, the Timberwolves have Damian Lillard now, who had 39. LeBron did his thing 32, 10, and 7, but it doesn't matter as we're going to be heading to a game 7 here. I'm not going to jump in if it's a blow like that again, so we're just going to start simulating in Simcast from the jump right here. And it looks like the Timberwolves are jumping out to a big early lead. Let's see if Toronto can come back in this one. Things have tightened up a little bit, but I'm not sure that they're going to be able to do anything about it. And yeah, it does look like the Timberwolves are going to take the NBA Finals. But both of our players are still championship lists. But I think it's definitely safe to say LeBron has started off his career better. Up to a 96 overall now. But watch out for a strong season from Wimbenyama. Mello Ball's now up to a 95 overall. They have Kyle Kuzma, Wimbenyama, 94 overall. This team is filling out nicely. And honestly, as of right now, their roster is better than the Toronto Raptors. Just a matter of, is LeBron going to be that dominant? All right, all right, all right. Wimbenyama finally makes his first all-star team. Lamelo Ball and Wimbenyama going to be today's modern magic and Kareem. This season, Lamelo's averaging 30 points, 5 rebounds, and 13 assists a game on insane shooting splits. While Wimbenyama is averaging 27 points and 10 rebounds and is a member of the 50-40-90 club. But golly, man, LeBron did it again. He won MVP again, averaging 38-8. and eight. And check this out. He also wins Defensive Player of the Year with two and a half steals and 1.8 blocks. Now, both of our players did make All-NBA first team this season, so that's good. It's crazy, though, that Wimbenyama is a 95 overall, but somehow he's playing second fiddle to LeBron, who's a 97. That's the fun part about this simulation and the harsh reality of what would happen when you have two generational prospects in the same draft. One of their careers is going to have to suffer as we simulate the playoffs right here, and we're going to see what happens. 
happens, but this year the Toronto Raptors are actually eliminated early on. Braun and the Raptors lose to the Atlanta Hawks, and let's see what LeBron did in the closeout game here. It looks like he had 23 points, but that's actually a mediocre game for him in this sim. What did I tell you guys though? Victor Wimbanyama and the Charlotte Hornets were on the come up. They have officially made the NBA Finals. In these playoffs, Wimbanyama is averaging 27 points and 10 rebounds on 55% from the field and 45% from the three-point line. He's also averaging 2.6 blocks a game. And Wimbanyama and the Hornets are up three to zero. The tides have turned very quickly in this simulation as Wimbanyama now has a chance to win finals and finals MVP first. Let's go ahead here and see if they can get the clean sweep. Lamelo Ball with the ball up top. He's gonna drive in right here and he's gonna get a step back jump shot. Wimbanyama has the ball in transition now. He's gonna drive in here, get in the paint easily, but he's gonna miss the layup, get his own rebound, go back up and finish that time. Seven foot four, I feel like that exact situation is gonna be commonplace for him all his career. Wimbanyama and the Charlotte Hornets get the job done as they get the sweep in the finals. Wimbanyama brings the first title in franchise history to Charlotte. It looks like LaMelo Ball is gonna end up winning finals MVP though. In the closeout game, Wimbanyama did have 26, seven and 16, but LaMelo had 25 and 17. LeBron's still at a 97 overall going into the next season and Wimbanyama is officially up to a 96, making him the highest rated player on his team. And wow, in his first game of this season, Wimbanyama had 39 points, 18 rebounds and nine assists. Yep, the GOAT is loading. LeBron only had 28, seven and six in his first game. Even in simulations, LeBron isn't even the best player of his era. But yeah, guys, the narrative around these two players is starting to change as Wimbanyama wins his first MVP averaging 32 and 13, while LeBron's Toronto Raptors fail to even make the playoffs with a record of 34 and 48. LeBron had a spectacular season himself, but he's starting to be overshadowed as Wimbanyama and the Hornets are in the finals for two years in a row. Wimbanyama's up to a 97 overall, and in the playoffs, he's averaging 30 points and 13 boards a game. We're simulating game by game, but the Thunder's up 2-1, Thunder is up 3-1, and the Thunder actually are gonna end up winning the title. So Wimby doesn't get his second chip. Shea Gilders Alexander wins finals MVP. But it's starting to get really interesting as both these players are approaching free agency. But it looks like Wimbanyama actually re-signs with the Hornets four years, 177 million. And LeBron does the same thing, signing the same four-year contract. In other news, Wimby is now the third highest rated player in the league and has officially jumped LeBron in the ratings. Once again, Wimby's Hornets are projected to finish above LeBron's team in the preseason rankings. Obviously, both players are still dominating all-star teams. And I feel like for the rest of the simulation, it would be a shock if one of them didn't win the MVP award as Wimby wins it again, 35 and 15. And I mean, he averaged three blocks a game, so that's gonna get him Defensive Player of the Year as well. LeBron's team is in the play in this season against the Knicks. LeBron loses this game. His career is about to be staying stagnant while Wimby's stock just continues to rise. Wow, the Knicks do end up winning. Taking a look at the box score, LeBron did have 34, but he shot two for 10 from the three-point line. Like, bro, just go to the basket. But that being said, the Raptors have been eliminated. Let's see if Wimby and the Hornets can make another run in this year's playoffs. They can't. You can't win the title every year. Looks like the Rockets are gonna win another championship with Smith Jr. winning MVP. Drew Holiday retiring, James Harden retiring, playoff Jimmy, who is now on the San Antonio Spurs, is retiring. Women Yama still at a 98 overall going into this next season, and his career totals are just insane. 28 points, 11 rebounds, and 2.6 blocks a game, 50, 40, 90 for his career. LeBron's numbers are just as sick. He averaged 36 points a game last season, but for his career, he's averaging 32, 8, and 7. It's hard to say who's had the better career to this point, but I think I'm gonna have to say it's Women Yama. I think he's won two MVPs now. He's won a title, finals MVP. LeBron's still searching for his first title, and I don't think LeBron is gonna get that coveted championship again this year as this team is well below 500 and oh my goodness LeBron's son Bronny James wins MVP averaging 35 and 11. Apparently he was drafted to the Miami Heat and I didn't even think I just had the 2024 draft uploaded and I guess he's in this even though LeBron there's no way that he could have had a kid that's already 23 years old. But who cares we're in this for the fun and LeBron James does win defensive player of the year again six stats. On all NBA first team we got LeBron James Jr. Victor Wimbanyama and LeBron James and in this season Wimbanyama averaged 33 points and 14 rebounds 3.3 blocks per game. He's a 99 overall now. The badges are starting to look absolutely insane. 7 4 with Hall of Fame clutch shooter and volume shooter. This is actually pretty nuts. Neither LeBron or Wimbanyama make the playoffs. Yeah, and this is why both their teams suck. The Toronto Raptors finished 34 and 48, and the Hornets finished 30 and 52. Mellow Ball is now a member of the Chicago Bulls. Scotty Barnes is on the Detroit Pistons. So neither one of our players have very much help on their teams anymore, which means both of them will probably be putting up some stick stats. But here we go again with the Houston Rockets winning another title. And now Wimby is the highest rated player in the league at a 99 overall while LeBron James is at a 98 still. Women Yama wins another MVP averaging 31 and 14 and he's also going to win defensive player of the year. Brought up to a 99 overall averaging 33, 8, and 7 so basically just his career numbers. There's no need to waste our time at all when it comes to the playoffs. Neither one of them made it again. Agency is going to be interesting when both of these players hit it. Another career numbers update. Women Yama is now averaging 29 points and 12 rebounds a game for his career. LeBron's career numbers are still 32, 8, and 7. Uh, dude, and Women Yama's team is not looking promising at all. And LeBron was able to team back up with Austin Reeves, but as you can see here, his numbers are not what they're going to be in real life.
life. Don's got a fucking redheaded point guard named Simon Buford, who's averaging 10 points a game. Cameron Lane, so he's got an Asian power. I don't actually, I don't even know if that is Asian. I don't know, man, but what I do know is both our players need to get the hell out of where they're at. Okay, okay, maybe LeBron doesn't actually. This season, he averaged 37, 8, and 7, and it looks like he's also going to win Defensive Player of the Year. Women Yama also made All-NBA First Team, but his team didn't come close to the playoffs. Meanwhile, though, somehow LeBron has dragged this team to the NBA Finals, and I don't know how he's doing, and Austin Reeves only averaging 4 points a game. I need to put some respect on Buford's name, though. 15 points and 9 assists in the playoffs. That's pretty solid. Gonna simulate it game by game, though, and see what happens. Series is 1-1. Raptors are up 2-1. to Series is 2-2. Two two. Thunder's up 3-2, to two, and it looks like the Thunder are gonna end up taking this home. I thought LeBron was gonna be able to do it. Here we are back to square one. But things are definitely changing as both of our players are headed to New York, as Victor Wimbanyama is now on the New York Knicks, and LeBron James is now on the Brooklyn Nets. This changes everything in this simulation. Thank God they are gone from those terrible organizations. Actually, I guess Brooklyn and the Knicks aren't too much better. And Wimbanyama's Knicks team is looking insane. It's got Ian Jackson, Jaden Ivey, you got Mark Williams on there. And in Wimbanyama's first game as a member of the Knicks, he had 28 points and 10 rebounds, while Jackson had 36 and 12. LeBron's Brooklyn team is not too shabby at all either. And in his first game, he had a 36-point triple-double. I'm excited to see what's going to happen now that these two are on different organizations. Okay, and in his first season with the Brooklyn Nets, LeBron wins another MVP as well as another Defensive Player of the Year. And LeBron's career accolades just keep adding up. I mean, at this point, it's getting pretty, pretty insane. Minyama makes All-NBA first team in his first season on the Knicks, and his career accolades are also looking pretty nuts. But most importantly, it's looking like these two players picked the best possible landing spot in free agency. Oh my god, though, the Knicks were eliminated in the first round. I thought we were going to finally get LeBron and Wimbanyama to meet up in the playoffs, but I guess the Hawks had other plans. And yeah, man, that sucks, but LeBron did his job and made it to the finals again. But it looks like LeBron did his job, and now he's in the NBA Finals, and let's see what he's averaging these playoffs. 30.7 rebounds, 9 assists, 50, 40, 90. So it looks like in this sim, he's really developed his jumper. But it looks like this finals is going to come down to a game seven. Definitely hoping LeBron is going to be able to pull this one out. I mean, he hasn't won a title in this simulation yet and we're in year what nine or ten so it would be really crazy if he didn't end up winning one but it looks like the nets are ahead in this and they are going to win game seven 121 to 103 meaning that they win the title and lebron james is going to win finals mvp 25 10 and 6 so now with the age of 28 lebron and women yama are pretty much on equal playing field we'll say this though they both have one title but lebron james does have a finals mvp if you remember women yama didn't win it that was Lamelo ball so take that for what you will i'm an hour and 31 minutes exactly into recording this and we still haven't gotten the Wimby and LeBron playoff matchup yet, but LeBron is still winning MVPs and Wimbanyama is winning Defensive Players of the Year. We're gonna get Wimby versus LeBron in the Eastern Conference Finals. So far in these playoffs, LeBron is averaging a crazy 35.7 rebounds and 9 assists. Wimbanyama is averaging an astounding 27 points, 12 rebounds, 5 assists on 44% from the 3-point line. But the New York Knicks are up 3-2 to two in the series. You already know we gotta go in here and check this out in a closeout game situation. This is gonna be nuts in Madison Square Garden seeing these two NBA legends go at it. Remember, if Women Yama and the Knicks win this game, they do advance to the finals. Women Yama now has the ball in transition once again, actually being guarded by LeBron. This is it. This is what we're here to see. LeBron's gonna get scored on by Wimby. That was easy. LeBron with the ball once again. We all know LeBron is more of a distributor, so I don't expect to see him shoot as many shots. Look at this though. The league leaders in playoff points per game. LeBron sits atop of it by far. LeBron has the ball now up top. He's gonna drive in on Jaden Ivey. He's gonna do a hop step, pro step in the lane and score himself. And it's coming down to the very end as the Knicks have a two-point lead with 30 seconds to go, but it doesn't matter. Jaden Ivey goes to the free throw line and sinks both free throws, and if the Nets don't score here, I'd say their season is pretty much over. LeBron's probably not even going to take the shot. Just like real life, it's, oh my god, it was almost a turnover, but Brooklyn's going to go in and score. Once again, it's going to come down to free throws, and what the hell kind of form was that? I'll be interested to see this again as he's going to try and make both. What in the fuck? Brooklyn is out of timeouts, and once again, they're going to need a bucket and to play the free throw and foul game. LeBron's going to drive in, pass it, Mikel Bridges for three to make it a one-point game, but he misses. LeBron gets the rebound kicks it back up to Mikel Bridges again he shoots misses again and ladies and gentlemen it looks like that is gonna do it as they are just not gonna have enough time can't get a shot to fall the New York Knicks win the Eastern Conference Wimbin Yama is better than LeBron Wimbin Yama and the Knicks are headed to the NBA Finals it was definitely a battle in this game as Wimbin Yama had 24 7 and 7 in 40 minutes but LeBron had 43 7 7 and 5 but again in a loss it's funny because that's actually well I guess it's not funny for LeBron but that's actually pretty pretty realistic compared to what happens in real life LeBron puts up insane stats but his team just isn't good enough or doesn't mean he's not a good enough leader that's something that people don't think of usually you classify lebron with leadership but uh looks like the knicks are 
Going to be down 3-2 to two in this NBA Finals. Will Wimbenyama be able to win another title? They can't. The Thunder have a dynasty going on with Ron Holland. In the closeout game, Wimbenyama had 21, 14, and 6, but it doesn't matter because they didn't win the title. This simulation is really starting to heat up. The career numbers on both of these players is astounding. Wimbenyama at 29 and 12, while LeBron James is at 32, 8, and 8. The accolades are racking up for both of them. I really think this is how it would go in real life. Unfortunately, we won't get to see that as LeBron is at the tail end of his career, and Wimbenyama is obviously going to be a rookie next year. But at this point, both of our players are playing hot potato with the MVP award as LeBron wins another one, and he's going to win Defensive Player of the Year. He's becoming like the greatest player ever. Bronny James, all NBA first team. Isaiah Collier, first team. LeBron, all NBA first team. Victor Wimbenyama, first team. And Kyle Filipowski, first team. But unfortunately, the Nets were eliminated from the NBA play-in, and the Knicks were eliminated in the first round. I think both of their contracts are actually coming to an end again this season. Giannis is retiring. Jokic is retiring. Jalen Brown is retiring. And one of those things that's changing is Victor Wimbenyama is no longer on the New York Knicks. It actually looks like he's a free agent somehow. Okay, actually, it looks like he was picked up by the Phoenix Suns. Never mind. On a one-year $2.68 million deal. Seems like a real bargain for me, considering he's like the best player in the NBA at a 99 overall, 29 and 12 on his career. Now, both of our players are in different conferences for the first time in their career, so it'll be interesting to see if they can meet up in the championship. This simulation just could not be going any better, though, because at this point, is it even a shock that one of them wins MVP? Women Yama, first year on the Suns, 28 and 11 MVP season. I'm gonna guess that LeBron wins another defensive player of the year. Yeah, this is getting pretty nuts. This sucks, though. In the Eastern Conference, man, the Nets didn't even make the play in, but the Phoenix Suns did get the one seed in the Western Conference, so Women Yama has a chance for another title. His team is fucking solid, man. Let's go ahead and simulate the playoffs and see if they can go ahead and make it there. Oh my god, they got beat in the first round by the dynasty that is the Oklahoma City Thunder, man. And they were up 3 to 0 in this series, and they got reverse sweep. Women Yama had 28, 10, and 9, but oh my goodness, dude. Sean Middleton, 21 points on 9 for 15 from the field. What in the hell, dude? Oh my goodness, the 76ers win the championship. Ramel Lloyd wins finals MVP. Both of our players actually haven't won very many championships. They each only have one, and we're what? Getting ready to be like on our 12th year of the sim? Oh my god, there is no way this is happening right now. You guys are gonna think this is some sick joke, but I swear to god I did not set this up. We got LeBron James and Victor Wimbanyama on the same team, the Miami Heat. They're both teaming up in South Beach. LeBron's going into his 12th year as a pro. Wimbanyama's going into his 12th year as a pro. I guess they're saying they're done not winning titles, and they're just gonna team up. So this is gonna be interesting. This is a whole nother video idea in itself that'll probably do one day, actually. And they win their first game of the season by 30. Wimbanyama had 37, 16, and 6, while LeBron had 29, 4, and 7. If they don't win a title this year, something crazy is going on. This is wild. They teamed up, man. Wimbanyama is going to edge out LeBron for MVP in this season, but once again, LeBron is going to win another Defensive Player of the Year. They also get the one seed in the playoffs, and I would be shocked if they did not make it to the NBA Finals as long as they can get through the Atlanta Hawks, who apparently have been upsetting teams all video. As we are simulating the Conference Finals here, it does look like the Heat are going to advance to the finals. They will be taking on the Portland Trailblazers. Let's see who Portland has in this simulation. They got Trey Jones, Shaden Sharp, Evan Mobley's their best player to 96 though. But the Heat are up 3-1 to one and have a chance to win the title. Bron and Wimbin Yama on the same team. You gotta go in here and check this mother trucking stuff out. I mean, you got the Defensive Player of the Year in LeBron and then Wimbin Yama, who's a 7-4 shot blocking machine. So defensively, this team should be extremely good. But I'll tell you right now, we are not here for defense in this simulation as LeBron's gonna get to the rim. He's gonna shoot a crazy shot right there, miss it. LeBron has the ball. He's gonna get in the paint right there and throw up a crazy shot. What in the hell is that? LeBron's gonna shoot a crazy mid-range shot and miss again, dude. Come on, fellas. I'm here to see buckets, and if I'm not seeing that, I'm simming. We actually have only a three-point game with 51 seconds to go, but Portland does have a chance right here to make it a one-point game or potentially even tie it. They're gonna drive it and miss. Wimbenyama brings down the rebound, and Portland is forced to foul. Wimbenyama going to the free throw line to try and ice this game. Let's see if he's gonna be able to do it. The second free throw is going to be up and good as well. I simulated because I figured that would be it. The Heat do win. In the closeout game, Wimbenyama had 36 and 14. LeBron had 33 and 4, but we saw no points from LeBron. He sucks. Both players win their second NBA title with Wim Yama winning his first finals MVP, so they're even in that category. And they are still both on the heat going into this next season, so let's see if they can capture another title. Here's one more quick look at LeBron's award history. And man, I mean, they just keep adding up. Wim Yamas are pretty much just as impressive except for the number of defensive player of the years. LeBron has more. Wim Yama racks up another most valuable player in this season. Well, what do you know? LeBron wins DPOI. Get the number one seed, so let's see if they can win another NBA title here. We're just going to go ahead and simulate the entire playoffs, but they're actually going to be eliminated in the second round by the Charlotte Hornets. I keep checking to see if either one of them have retired yet, and they haven't. I mean, why would they? They're both still 99 overalls, and they both still have a lot of gas left in the tank as they're on the same team, so potentially a lot of titles. I mean, like in this game, Victor Wimbanyama had 37 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists, LeBron 28 and 13. They're just dominant. Wimbanyama wins another MVP, and he's actually going to win Defensive Player of the Year this year also. They're both still making all NBA first teams. Let's see what
what LeBron averaged almost a 24 point triple double again 50 40 90 that jump shot man if they don't win a title this season any year that there's two are playing together and they don't win a championship it's an extreme disappointment they are in the finals again this year surely they're going to win the title they're playing against the fucking pelicans although i don't know who the pelicans have in this simulation but the series is two to two heater up three to two game seven we got to go in here to simcast for this one boys oh my goodness come on no way they lose. We might have to jump in here and see what's going to happen in this one. It actually looks like it's a pretty close game going on right here. It looks like the Heat are actually going to pull away and end up dominating this one. They win by 34 points, win the championship, and LeBron James wins finals MVP 33-8-8. and Jason Tatum of the LA Lakers is retiring. John Morant's retiring. Everyone's retiring. Our two players are splitting up again this season, though, as Wimbanyama still on the Heat, and the Denver Nuggets ended up getting 34-year-old LeBron. We're just going to keep chugging along here in this simulation, man. I mean, why not? All the accolades are close. First year on the Nuggets, LeBron wins MVP. Wimbenyama is going to win another defensive player of the year. Both had six stats. Nuggets get the one seed in the West, but Wimbenyama and the Heat fail to even make the NBA playoffs. Let's see if LeBron and Denver can go ahead and get a title right here. Actually, they're eliminated in the conference finals. 76ers win a title and Ron Holland wins another finals MVP. Still no retirement from them. Okay, now heading into this next season, LeBron is still a 99 overall on the Nuggets, but Wimbenyama is a 99 overall now on the Pelicans. This Nuggets team that LeBron is on is pretty mediocre. We got pretty much all created players right now, and it looks like Victor Wimbenyama actually has 94 overall. Isaiah Collier on the squad but ladies and gentlemen in this season we're heading into the year 2040 and they are still atop the league 99 overalls and in his like 16th year lebron is back up to almost averaging a 30 point triple double these players just do not age justin edwards though actually one of them doesn't win defensive player of the year women yama still averaging 28 13 and 6 though 50 40 90 club nothing's changing with these two the longevity is insane denver gets the number one seed in the west New Orleans gets the number two seed in the West, so we do have a chance to see them take on each other in the conference finals. Let's see if we're going to be privileged enough to go ahead and see that, and we are. So far in these playoffs, LeBron's averaging 32, 9, and 12, but Women Yama's averaging 29, 11, and 8, so they're both almost averaging triple doubles. Dude, this is getting crazy. Let's simulate game by game here and see what's going to happen. New Orleans wins game one, Denver game two, New Orleans game three, Denver game four, and it looks like New Orleans is up three to two. Let's go ahead in here and simulate this with SimCast, and if we need to jump in, we will gladly jump in. New Orleans up a quick lead though it's going back and forth though as we go ahead and head into halftime right here and we are without a doubt going to jump into this one and denver is up only three points with a minute and 40 seconds to go denver needs to win this game if they want to force a game seven with a chance to advance to the nba finals women yama is for some reason not on the court but lebron is going to back down and he's going to try and force up a tough shot over the backboard but he's going to miss offensive rebound though and that's a dunk isaiah call you're going to try and get a bucket right here but he's going to pass the ball and turn it over lebron james pushing the ball in transition is he going to be able to finish he's going to shoot a pull up three. Oh my god i'm gonna go ahead and simulate the rest of the game though i'm assuming denver's gonna win yeah they do win that game and uh let's see here lebron at 18 6 and 5 and women yama down here only four points he played 15 minutes this game i'm really too sure what was going on right there with the minutes in that one but let's go ahead and simulate again and see if we need to jump in i almost simulated too far right here but denver is going to be forced to foul both teams are out of timeout so denver is going to have to take the ball out immediately but that free throw is up and good extending the lead to three let's see if they can extend the lead to a two possession game isaiah collier hits the shot and this game is to go to the NBA Finals. LeBron's gonna force up a three and miss. Wimbenyama brings down the rebound and that's gonna do it. Once again in the playoffs, Wimbenyama wins the head-to-head -head matchup against LeBron. In this game, LeBron had 29, 11, and 14. Again, not for lack of better time, but Wimbenyama 36, 15, and 6 after a subpar game 6 and the Nuggets have been eliminated. Now they're in the NBA Finals. Let's go ahead here and see who's gonna win this. Oh, wow. It was a sweep and Ron Holland is the greatest player alive. Still, none of them have retired. Both players still on the same team going into this year. Holy shit. In this game against the Charlotte Hornets, to begin the year women yama had 52 points 10 rebounds and eight assists 10 for 14 from the three-point line they're not slowing down i'm pretty sure this is like the craziest simulation i've ever freaking done leave a like on this video if you're still here man this is insane wow for the first time in a lot of years though neither one of them wins mvp let's see if either one of them wins defensive player of the year no they don't go ahead here and see if we get another western conference finals matchup and it looks like we are going to and it looks like the pelicans are going to be eliminated this year with lebron beating women yama in that and he's gonna win uh wow we averaged 41 points per game in that series that's pretty nuts let's see who's gonna win the title here it's again the 76ers with guy watson At this point i don't know what it's gonna take for one of them to retire okay and some things are changing women yama's dropping to a 98 overall at 37 years old lebron's on the lakers dropping to a 96 guys this lakers team is stacked 96 overall ian 
Jackson, LeBron's a 96. Certainly, this team is going to win a title. Once again, neither player wins MVP, but Wimbenyama averaging 31, 11, and 4, winning Defensive Player of the Year. Ronnie James is 36 years old now, averaging 27, 5, and 11 for the Houston Rockets. That's how you know we're far in the future, man. It'll be interesting to see if Lakers and LeBron end up winning a title here. They do not, as they are eliminated. So, LeBron, once again, a major disappointment um, in this season, but it looks like Timberwolves are going to win the title. Ron Holland wins another Finals MVP. He's becoming very, very prominent. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have seen enough from these two to decide who you think the better player is going to be. Here's one last look at Wimben Yama's final career stats as he averaged 28 points, 12 rebounds, and 5 assists a game. 50, 40, 90. Let's go ahead here with LeBron and see what he averaged for his career. His numbers have started dropping lately. 30 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, 50, 40, 85. Let's take a look at their career attributes, or uh, not attributes, accolades here. Where is it at? Here you go. I'll remove my face cam so you guys can take a full look at that. We'll go look at Victor Wimbanyama's right here. And tell me who you guys think had the better career, man. I don't know. It's very, very difficult to tell. But we're 20 years into the sim. I've been recording for two and a half hours. I think we definitely have a good idea of who the better player was. I'm going to say it was Victor Wimbanyama, as crazy as that may sound. But I just want to say thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I'm the coming attraction.